Keep your anger slow and fast. Use the terrain to stay hidden till the last second. Make sure you give the flak suppression unit enough time so they can weaken defenses. You don't think I'm up to this? Of course I do. You'll be fine. Look. You're worried that I'm not going to pull it out of the fire with some high-risk retina-detaching move the way Starbuck would. Look, Kara, I'm sorry you're not suiting up. Because believe me, everyone would feel so much better, me included, if you were riding along with us. But this isn't an ego trip. This is my job. And don't think for one moment that I will not get it done. I hope so. Because we've got one shot. Don't frack it up by overthinking. Nice thing about being on the run after nuclear war. Nobody left to complain if we hide out in their barn or raid their pantry. Well, you're on your way to steal a ship and get off the planet. It's odd, isn't it? What? That we haven't seen a single living human being since the one you shot when you rescued me. I mean, we're still alive. Why nobody else? Probably hold out in their fallout shelters or something. Two ways out in a lovely view. It could be better. Feather bed and silk comforter. some chili. <laughs> Simple no would do. Sharon, have you been taking your anti-radiation meds? I think it was those cold beans we had this afternoon. <laughs> you okay now? Yeah. <clears throat> How far are you figured to Delphi? Eight, maybe ten days if we move fast. If we start early, we can be there in no time. Can't sleep. I couldn't either before a big op. Father than I was. Dad used to carry that into court cases. Claimed he never lost. Unless he left it behind. So you're worried too. About what? You know, sometimes it feels like the whole ship thinks uh, Starbuck would do better. I do. How can you be so sure? Because you're my son. <laughs> 